Well, well, well. What do we have here? A drum roll, please. Okay, well, I got some new art supplies today, but I don't know what they are. So I'm gonna open this up. Open this up and see what's inside. Actually, I kind of do have an inkling of what they are because I've seen some other YouTubers already do this month's box and my surprise got spoiled. Whoa, oh, okay, never mind. Not fully spoiled. What is this? What is this? Ooh. Woodless pencil set. What? Ah, I have been wanting to try woodless pencils for a long time. Ooh, uh, uh, ha, ha. Blending stumps. Okay, my art fear came in a box. I'm afraid of these. Ah. It's just the the texture uh, gives me the hibby jibbies, but they are quite helpful. All right, what else is in here? <gasps> what? What? Pencil case. Whoa, it feels like a tennis ball. What else? What else? <gasps> what is this? An art eraser. It's black. I've never seen a black eraser. <gasps> wait, wait, is this an eraser too? Needed eraser? What? <gasps> what? A spin what? Three erasers in a box? Get out of here, girl. I've been using this little guy, but now I have these. Oh, this is so exciting. What are these? What are these? I believe these four are charcoal pencils. It's about to get really arty up in here today. We're going back to basics. I think this is a charcoal pencil. And then these are just sketching pencils. This draws on paper, glass, plastic, and metal. Whoa, is that drowning? Drafting? How do you say that? How do you say it? Somebody comment down below. I don't know how to get this out. Professional series, stipple texture. So this is like a stipple texture paper. Guys, I kid you not, they mean it. How do I show you the texture of paper? Focus on my finger and maybe around it. Can you tell? Ooh, this stipple paper uh, is good for shading and blending. If you want to read this, you can pause the video though. I actually already have this same exact eraser that I'm currently already using, so I'm not going to open this because I don't want to be wasteful, but I will use my opened one. I'm pretty sure it's the same brand and everything, <laughs> so just being honest with you guys, I don't want to waste. Alright, I will use these. Take one for the team. We are in the third week of August, so the year 3000. Ooh. When I think of the year 3000, since I'm doing that for a prompt, I think either very positively or very negatively. <laughs> so these are my two thoughts. The first thought is in the future, we have found a way to completely eliminate plastic. It's a very lush, healthy ecosystem where pollution is gone, all the microplastics are out of the sea. We have really utilized our space for like hydroponic gardening. Most people do it as a common thing. Uh, global warming has been fixed, that kind of thing. And then the other thought for the year 3000 is this like super post-apocalyptic world and there's hardly anybody left on earth kind of thing, like the road, <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. I, I think I want to do the more positive one and see how we can do this. Ooh, this paper is interesting. I guess I'm gonna do a person just so I can also represent the fashion. <laughs> Ooh, you know what? She could be putting her hands in like her futuristic little pocket. That would be cute. Maybe in the year 3000, the biggest thing that will happen is girls will have bigger pockets that can like actually be used. Raise your hand if you're with me. Yeah, you want that? Cause I really do. I don't know why 
We all get scammed with these fake pockets, but I am not okay with that. So if we could just have real ones. Well, this definitely makes <laughs> my line work look a lot darker. Let, let's test this plastic eraser. That uh, this would not exist in the future because I just said <laughs> no plastic. <laughs> now, as far as the face goes, I know, I know I want to do like some sort of glasses, I would say. Okay, so our background, I want to do some sort of like hydroponic gardening thing in the background. So I think I'm gonna just do like, she works in probably a greenhouse because uh, that's like what half my characters ever do. And this is her like hydroponic station. All right, should I try one of these woodless pencils? There's actually only three types of pencil in here. There's two two B's, two four B's, and two six B's, so sure. Let's, let's give it a, whoa, this is so heavy. This is so wicked. Okay. Well, ooh, this is sweet. Wow. This feels magical, dude. This is so nice and sturdy for like hair strokes. I am impressed, yes. I do wish they would have like talked about their product and their packaging though. You know, honestly, I, I'm like not somebody who, oh, I don't know, like does a lot of just graphite sketches. I'm always adding like a pop of color. But this box is really like well thought out. I honestly think this may have been one of their most like well thought out boxes. Like, I mean, down to the paper, they just like really thought it out. So that's kind of cool. And it's kind of cool because the last B paper that was in their last box. I did not like it, but this one, pretty good. I'm gonna wait to do charcoal until last because that's gonna like really be a mess. In year 3000, eyebrows that are thick will still be trendy, guys. <laughs> it's still gonna be a thing. You might not be able to see hers, but She's got some thick brows, all right. <laughs> I'm really digging this woodless <laughs> pencil. This is so cool. I wanna try a bunch of them now. Would you guys wear this outfit? I don't, I don't think I would. I don't know. The whole side button thing not matching up with this button kind of bothers me. But I'm just gonna leave it now because I kind of think, you know what? We're gonna create some tension. And because it's not that easy to erase on here. <laughs> See, my, my thing with uh, graphite pencils like this is every time I use them, I have this urge to go realistic and like super realistic. I'm not doing that with this piece. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it like cartoony a little bit, but yeah, I just get that urge. It's really funny like how different mediums can affect your style. Do you find that different mediums affect your style differently? Whoa, the face recognition on my camera just came on. <laughs> I love that.
I'm gonna try using this drafting, drafting, what, what, what is it? Pencil. We're gonna see how it goes, okay? What was I gonna do? Oh yeah. I want to do some sort of like lettuce here. Maybe like, I don't know. Like chives or something. Sure, a lot of these will be like herbs. <laughs> okay, and up here, I definitely have an idea for this one. I want to do onions. Why? Because I'm growing onions in my garden and I'm very proud of my onions. <laughs> I've been putting them in all sorts of foods lately. Mm. Don't wanna be smearing things. But yeah, I've been putting my onions in like some Mediterranean quinoa salads, uh, all sorts of stuff. Okay, got the onions and they have their root systems. All right, now I'm just gonna go like this to show water. <laughs> Wow, this eraser is a true champ. It it can erase. I think this is the best one. Okay, I hate blending stumps, but I'm doing this for the tube. <gasps> oh my goodness, I hate this so much that I'm gonna get goosebumps. I'm literally just trying to use every supply in the box, but if I could omit this one, I would. It's just a sensory issue. This texture just is hard for me to deal with. Wow, the charcoal surprisingly doesn't work as well as I thought it would. So this is what I would predict a farm to be like in the year 3000, or just the average Joe's garden in the year 3000. I think it would be a lot of like hydroponics, and I think Farming would be like a really really cool thing in the future because people would be more aware of our environment and This is a way that you could like plant a lot of things on top of each other, but not cut down trees So I think that's really cool. I feel like This doodle is gonna spark a lot of debate in the comments, but I'm just gonna roll with it. A lot of things in here say plastic. This is also plastic. So yeah, in the year 3000, going off my prompt, there'd probably be some alternative for all this plastic stuff. <laughs> I do really love these woodless pencils. Like how cool is that? I mean, look at this. Like I didn't even sharpen it, I just went with it and it worked so well, I'm so happy with it. If you want to see me test more art supplies or do unboxings and stuff, I will put a playlist here and you can binge my channel. But this is what it looks like up close. And this was really fun. And again, you can click this playlist, it's probably up on the screen blocking you from seeing stuff now. And yeah, keep your adventure rolling. Have a good day and thanks for watching. Bye.